Well, we did a little interview like this at the uh, Isle of Man and Philip said he'd be the first man to shake my hand if I won five and uh, I finished a senior and he was on the back of Ben McCree waving back to the island. So. <laughs> but I will hang around here. If you do win five here, I will shake your hand because this is, this is probably the best road race in the world as far as riding and tracks go. Uh, this is a proper Grand Prix road race and uh, I was just talking to Ian earlier about it and it's one of them ones where two or three different styles of riders could win here. You know, it's, you can ride on the front wheel and turn and make a lot of ground going into corners. If you're really good on the throttle, you can make a lot of ground going out of corners and if you slipstream good, you can make a lot of ground on the straights. So I hate to say, Ian seems to be showing all those talents at the minute. and uh, so. If Ian gets those right here um, and puts his uh, Brands Hatch stuff into use come Saturday, he'll be a hard man to touch. But likewise, I've spoke to a few of the other guys and they reckon they can beat him. Yeah. So, uh, how, how did you feel at the TT when you broke this man's record? I mean, it was a, an amazing week for you. Yeah, it wasn't really a thing about breaking a record, you know, it was just stared uh, us. I never really take pressure on board, but it was getting quite hard towards the end of the week. Everyone expecting me to do the next thing and the next thing, you know. And, Obviously, I won the two in the day last year, so that was had to be done to, to everyone else. And then, uh, and then I had to match Phillips four, and then I had to get the five. So you know, it was like everything I did wasn't good enough yet. So to actually get the last one was a relief because no one could expect any more. <laughs> that was it. You were happy, Philip, were you seeing this man beat your record? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it's always sad. Uh, I'd held that for 14 years, and I remember how hard it was to get that. But every record's beatable, and uh, just Ian had the setup. On the week, I mean, he had a superb team behind him. He was confident, his bikes were good, and to be honest, looking from the outside, there was no stopping him. He should have won those last two races, but it's racing, things can go wrong. And uh, we all know, you know, you miss a gear somewhere, you make a slight slip, you run wide, and it's all over. So I think he'd done a brilliant job to hold it all together. And definitely the pressure was on towards the weekend. Uh, you know, you want more and more for yourself. And like he says, at the time, it's not about records. It's only when you get home Sunday morning and sit down and realise, I've got it. It's, Has it sunk in with you now when you, when you look back at what you did there? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people keep saying, as it sunk in, there's nothing really changes. You know, I went home and cut my grass on Sunday morning because <laughs> it was about two foot long, but, you know, you, you're no different person, are you? It's just what I like doing and uh, I enjoyed the racing and it helped the bank account out a bit as well. <laughs> Philip probably went home and sulked after the TT this year. Yeah, <laughs> huffed for a few days, you know, but no, it was brilliant. And anyone who wins races at the TT, anyone who breaks records at the TT, you know, lap records, race records, whatever, I know they have to try, you know. Well, similar to here, obviously, as well. Do you think you can you can do five here this week? You're not really thinking that way. Yeah, it's. I mean, you're never going to run away with a race round here because of slipstreaming and stuff. You know, it's very difficult to win five races, and uh, you know everyone's got such close machinery now, and it's not as if we're coming here with something no one else has got. So it's just purely down to what happens on the day, really, and a lot can happen on the day. Yeah. You can shake his hand now, Philip. Well, I've heard he's actually up to a few tricks already. Uh, he was experimenting last weekend at Brands Hatch with new electronics, and uh, I'm sure are those electronics on your 600 for here? Yeah, they're on. The um... would, it, would it not be a good idea to take them <laughs> off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they're on, and it's only what everyone else has got, to be honest. You know, a lot of the front guys on the um, 600s at the TT and stuff had the full electronics package on, and we opted not to have it just to. Uh, a little bit more for reliability really and it got us through the TT but you know we need a little bit more out and out speed now so it's gone on there and it's making the bikes a lot more rideable in the British Championship it's about consistency there 15 laps of you know pretty much identical lap times and that could be what it's like here now it's so smooth there's, um, there's no way you can really ride better than anyone else because there's nothing to catch anyone out. Well good luck as I say you can shake his hand now Philip since you didn't do it at the TT you know. <laughs> Well done, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> but don't do too well this week. <laughs> Thanks a lot.